You know Lena Esco as Chris on SWAT, a series regular. Well, this week she's not just acting in it, she's actually directing the episode as well. And you do have a bit of a background in directing documentaries, but this is your first go at a TV episodic. So how was it? It was incredible. We had so much fun. I got the script two months before starting to shoot. So I like went in there obsessed about every page. I learned everything I could about every moment that I needed to make sure I expressed uh, behind the lens. Uh, I was in only four scenes as Chris, so I can just really focus on directing. Uh, but I'm really tight with the cast and I'm really tight with the crew. So it just felt like another day at work. Uh, and because I did so much preparation, I was able to relax and have fun. Well, that's cool you bring up the crew because there's one thing to, in acting with your cast members as opposed to actually directing them and telling them what to do and where to go. So how did that go? They were super open and relaxed. I mean, they were just, it's, it's great when you're comfortable with your cast members and they're comfortable with me, I'm comfortable with them. So it didn't feel like anything different. I've just come in and try to like bring in a little something else out of it or, or hint certain things. Uh, but, uh, eventually it was, it was, it was more in the, uh, guest stars that were, that were really needing to bring the emotional storyline that was written on the page by, uh, Ryan Keller. The action is, uh, with a lot of emotion. Uh, I wanted to bring that vulnerability into the characters and, and a lot of emotion, uh, into the violence that we don't really see. Sure. Well, that I'm sure even people watching the episode will kind of appreciate your thoughtfulness going into directing it as well as acting in it. And you do have that background in documentary films. What was kind of the biggest difference versus doing a TV show as a scripted versus non-scripted? I actually directed a scripted uh, feature film. That's what I did. A, a little bit of the unscripted side was towards the end, but it was a, it was a, a feature film, not a documentary. Oh. People get it was called free the nipple you're not the first person to do that it's okay um it's called free the nipple and it was to start a conversation about gender equality at a time that nobody was talking about it back in two, uh, 2013 2014 and uh, it was a more radical way of doing it but i needed to get the conversation out there and the nipple was just a trojan horse but this um it was different because you know it's it's a lot more pressure you're shooting uh, uh 47 pages in eight and a half days four cameras rolling at all time um, we don't have a lunch break. We're eating on the go. It's a lot to pack up in eight and a half days, but because I was so prepared and because I've been doing this for five years, it just felt like second nature to me. All right. Well, very cool. Now I want to see the movie you directed. <laughs> it sounds yeah. interesting. Yeah. You can find it on Amazon and iTunes. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I mean, it was, it was at a time where nobody was talking about it. Now the media wasn't talking about it. In fact, when I, I pitched it out after the film was shot, people, distribution companies were just saying, uh, this is uh, there's no audience for this. And this is back in 2013. Um, and there wasn't an audience for it. And I had to uh, go out there and uh, figure it out myself. Yeah. And that's the one thing, you know, you have the opportunity to do as someone in your position to get those messages and stories out there, whether it is a feature film or a documentary or even in TV shows. Yep. You just got to go out there and knock doors. And no matter what people say, you just keep going and going and going. That's what we all have to do to get to where we need to get, you know? Yeah, Never no doubt. Stop. Do you plan on directing any more films or TV shows? Oh, absolutely. I feel like I'm going to be acting and directing for the rest of my life as long as I can. I mean, it's what makes me feel happy. I mean, when I was directing the episode of SWAT, I was waking up at four in the morning, even though I needed to wake up at five to go work. I was ready to get ready to go at four. I was so excited to get to work every day. Why do you think it's important for more people who are in front of the camera to get behind the lens, even especially women? I think we, everyone has their own view uh, of how they see stories, how they see frames, how they see what they want to shoot. And I think that's why it's important that everybody, in, ter in terms of women and men, there's a balance in that so we can get a different uh, visual viewpoint of, of what they're trying to interpret in terms of what the, what the pages are saying. So I think it's really important that also actors try it. You never know if they're going to love it and what they can bring. You, know, you don't know if you're going to be the next Whoever. I think it's just important to um, when you're an artist to try everything. I don't think you should just pick one lane. I should. I think you should do a few lanes. I think we shouldn't limit ourselves. I think our potential is unlimited in terms of what area of career we choose to be. I think we should expand more. I couldn't agree more. Okay, tell us a little bit about what this episode is about. This episode is about a father that um, has lost his son and his wife to kind of the same thing. Uh, a transplant that has gone wrong uh, or has been denied, uh, something that happens in our country. 
uh, either insurance doesn't cover it at the last minute or something like that, or they're not qualified. And I just think it's so unfair. Uh, and people have died because of this. He has uh, obviously taken a different route uh, in terms of dealing with this and finding justice. And that's when uh, SWAT has to interfere. All right. Well, we are looking forward to Sunday night's episode and, of course, what you have coming up next as well. Thank you so much, Lena, for joining us. You can catch SWAT right here on KPIX 5 on Sunday nights. Thank you so much for supporting.